It's interesting. It's awesome. It's what exactly? An Earth robot. Walk, sit, roll over, do absolutely nothing. It seemed to understand that. Good robot. I don't know. It might be a spy sent to infiltrate our base. Quick, no one say anything important. Consider it done. Well, I've been meaning to get some blaster practice in, so... No, 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 no! <sighs> Recruits, you were looking at Horace Burns. Cody got it as a souvenir from the Mainland Museum. Horace was Cody's ancestor and a town hero. But what does it do? It doesn't do anything. It's art to inspire, to admire, to not be used for blaster practice. Ah, art, you say? Yeah, I don't get it. Why don't I take you on a field trip to the museum to see more art? Maybe then it'll make sense. Museum? I better get my police kit ready. I'll need handcuffs, a notebook, a flashlight, some seriously cool shades. Good to go. Whirl, what exactly do you think is going to happen at the museum? A heist, obviously. This field trip's suddenly sounding a lot more interesting. Well, today, the only mission you're going to have is look at art. Bold choice of color, pleasing octagonal shape. I love it! That would be a stop sign. The actual art is at the museum, but we have to wait until it closes before we go in. This is Milford, remember. We can't let humans see us in bot mode. So, is he art? That would be the security guard. But if he's leaving, then it's time for our field trip. Security key courtesy of Police Chief Burns. You can write him a thank you note later. Whoa! Wow. Nice! Wow, humans really love their rocks. And their broken pottery. They can't love them that much with an IRXYT alarm. This museum is a heist waiting to happen. I'll pass on your concerns to Chief Burns, Whirl. But in the meantime, maybe you can enjoy the exhibits like Hoist. Uh, it's like the dino bot of my nightmares. Whoa! Don't worry, Hoist. I think you're safe. It's pretty old. Everything here is. So I'll just put that back, Hotshot. I wonder what the artist was trying to say here. Don't slip. Ah. Ha! The wires on this alarm are sticking out. Almost like they were tampered with. <gasps> and that window is open. Almost like a burglar left it that way to come burgling later. A skylight? That's just saying throw up a grappling hook and heist me. Time to get to work. Yeah, gonna lose the specs. Okay, let's police this museum. Whoa, there is definitely someone in there. Crime scene alert. Oh, this is it, Whirl. Your first heister, probably. Oof. <sighs> I'm going for backup. <laughs> You know, Whirl, you probably shouldn't be running around priceless art. Sorry, Professor, but I think we might have a code 362! Burglary in progress! And possibly a code 598, improper use of a door on a recruit. I admire your dedication, Whirl. But even Chase takes a night off from police work once in a while. At least, that's the rumor. Heatwave is right. You should relax and observe the excellent art. Like this cone here. <gasps> that's him! Or that's the janitor, and there's nothing to see here. Chief Burns must have forgotten the cleaning crew would be here. We just need to be careful not to make too much noise. Ah! <sighs> now, can I interest you all in this early Peruvian vase? That's no janitor, and I'm going to prove it. Putting on gloves? Why, Mr. Janitor? 
To cover your fingerprints, perhaps? No? Okay, you're just cold. But I'm watching you. Cleaning that cabinet? Or cutting the glass with a diamond so you can steal priceless royal rubies? Alrighty, just cleaning. <laughs> Let's see. You are here. That's right. And that means Milford can sleep soundly. Polishing that security camera? Or covering up the lens? This detective says yes! And also that you missed a spot. Dusting an exhibit, or... No, he really is dusting. Hmm. Time to look at art, I guess. Huh? Oh, nice one, Whirl. Better clean that up. Wait. No water in the bucket? What sort of janitor would leave the floor dusty? A burglar sort of janitor, that's who! I was right! Huh? Perp is heading in a southerly direction towards the main gallery. <gasps> the main gallery? That's where the team is! Come in, bald eagle. The cat is landing. What's that, Whirl? I said, the cat is almost in the nest. Huh? Mr. Pettipaws is here. What nest? Who's bald? I mean, the burglar is coming! Quick, hide! Oh, she just means the janitor is coming and we should hide. <gasps> the janitor is coming! Hide! Hide where? You may have noticed we're quite large. 100% metallic muscle, my friend. Keep calm. We can hide in plain sight if we become the art. Uh, oil painting is not one of my vehicle modes. Good job, medics. You look just like the famous sculpture by Rodin, the thinker. Really? Well, I was thinking, just not about being a sculpture. Everyone, follow his lead. Mona Lisa, nailed it. Girl with the pearl earring, nailing it and looking good. <gasps> Huh? Let's go. Phew, that was close. You can probably lose the earring hoist. Don't worry, I'll put it back. Though it is my color. The important thing is, we all got out. But where's Whirl? Uh-oh. <gasps> the real Horace Burns statue! Team, I know for a fact the janitor is a burglar. I need you to trust me, and I really need your help. You got it, Whirl. What can we do? I need a distraction. Almost got it. Almost got it. Uh, Wait, what? That cool. Okay, team. Remember all those rules about staying quiet and stealthy? Forget them. Now that. I can do. Yeah! It's diversion time! Loader coming through! Medics, sirens away. <laughs> okay, Brain, never forget you saw Professor Heatwave doing donuts. Just some crazy drivers. <laughs> Can't a criminal work in peace? Gotcha. Up, up, and away. Oh. Oh. Gotcha. Hey, what's happening? Up, up, and away. I'm innocent. Nice job. Go, world. Excellent thief catching. Watch out for those ouchie. Ooh, too late. I'll tell Chief Burns to expect an airmail delivery. Let me go! I've got a whole new appreciation for human art. The yellow really speaks to me. World. In recognition of your fine police work last night, we'd like you to have this. You trusted your instincts and never gave up, even on us. Right, team? Yeah! Wow, thanks! I'd love to accept this award, but I can't. Huh? I didn't catch that burglar alone. When I needed help, you were there. So this statue should really be for all of us. Welcome to the team, Horace. 
Rescue Bots Academy. Are you ready to roll to the rescue? That's the start of our new Academy recruiting video. What do you think? I would totally want to go there, if I didn't already. Yeah, that guy in red looks super cool to hang out with. Can we see the rest of the movie? Not yet, because that's what we'll be recording today. I want to get some scenes of what life is like at the Academy. Training, teamwork, maybe even a real rescue. This is Heatwave, go ahead. On my way, sir. That was Optimus. He needs my help on a mission, so I'm afraid our movie will have to wait. I can record it for you, sir. I've always wanted to be a director. Roll film! Cue the extras! Where's my llama wrangler? I can't think of anyone more enthusiastic about the Academy than you, Whirl. I won't let you down, sir. Then the job's yours. I'm counting on you to represent the rescue bots. Mission accepted. Hey, Whirl. I've got some ideas about what would look really great in the Academy movie. Me. Hmm. You are aware you don't actually have any muscles to flex, right? Just let me know if you want to use my crane for an overhead shot. I can hold the camera if you want to be on screen for a while. Thanks for the offers, guys. But I got this. So what do you require us to do? Um, act natural. I don't understand. Are we acting or are we natural? Just do what you normally do. Yeah, and I'll record it. Oh, look at the time. I must go to the lab to sort supplies. That's natural. Have you met medics? This movie needs some excitement. Let's go to Hero Hall. Okay, Wedge, you tell the camera how our rescue simulations work. And then Hoist will start a demo when you give the signal. No problem. You ready? And action! Wedge, that's your cue. We use Hero Hall to practice simulated rescues. I'll show you. Hello. Ah, there's the signal. Cue the tidal wave. Oh, no. I'll just edit that part out. <laughs> Maybe we should move on. I've got a great idea for your next scene. Meet me at the ground bridge in 10 minutes. And action. That means go! Oh, right. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Hoist, and this is the ground bridge at Rescue Bots Academy. But I want to show you something even better. Our teachers, Heat Wave and Optimus Prime, say hello. Hoist, can you talk some more about the ground bridge? I could, or Optimus can. This allows us to travel anywhere we desire. Hey, I want to talk. No, it is my turn. <laughs> <laughs> transform! You transform! Hoist, look out! Whoa! <sighs> Guess we'll finish this when he comes back from Outer Mongolia. Oh, boy. It takes a lot of skill to be a recruit. Practice, determination, and you gotta look good doing it. That is not actually a requirement. Ooh. Hot shot. why don't you show us some of your mission training moves? I thought you'd never ask. Action! I can provide you with some calmer content for the movie, like a review of medical rescue procedure. Thanks, medics. Let me introduce you to the wonderful world of bandages. Gauze, cotton balls, tape, and of course splints will work, but who uses those anymore, am I right? <laughs> I don't think three hours of medics is what Heatwave wanted. Maybe I got some other good stuff earlier. Look out! This is unusable. It's more gag reel than promo reel. Oh, uh, hi! 
I'm not standing in front of this to block you from seeing anything, what? <laughs> How's the movie shaping up? Great! You're gonna be really surprised once you see it. So can we? Can you what? See it? No! No, because it's not finished yet. Whirl, great news. I told Optimus about the movie you've been working on, and he's coming by to see it. That's unexpected. When? Tonight. Let's go clean up the academy and give Whirl some space to work. Tonight? 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 <laughs> but making a movie out of this is impossible! Wait! Impossible is really just I'm possible without the space. You can do this! Ugh, an emergency now! <gasps> Which could be the perfect chance to record the recruits in action for our Rescue Bot Academy video! That's it! High five me! Yes! I'm possible! There's an emergency at the Griffin Rock Cake Factory. The machines won't shut off, and Mr. Pfeiffer and two of his bakers are trapped. You need to help them to safety. Sounds like a piece of cake. Ha! I have never understood what is so easy about cake. We got this, sir. And I'll catch it all for our movie. Ah! Get to cover! So much sugar! Huh? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Let's go! We have to turn off these machines! I'll try to reach the power switch! Cream! Banana! Ooh, I think that one was Razzleberry! Whoa! I got this! that this rescue is, in fact, not a piece of cake. Uh-oh! Oh, no. Ooh. Wow! This one's mine. Whoa! Jam! Hey! We'll charge these machines for assault and battering. Now let's get you to safety. <sighs> How's the movie looking? There isn't a movie. Everything I filmed today is horrible. Why didn't you tell us? We would have helped you. Because Heatwave made me the director. This was my mission, which means I'm the one who has to go tell him I failed. Hey, guys. Why don't we help Whirl right now? I'm sorry, sirs, but I failed my task. There's nothing I filmed today that is worthy of being part of the Academy promo reel. How did that happen, Whirl? I knew things weren't going well, but you trusted me to do the job. So I felt like I had to do it alone. And I couldn't. Your spark was in the right place, Whirl. But it is not weak to ask for help when you need it. Sometimes, it is even braver. Wait! We know there's no movie. Actually, there might be. Permission to show you something awesome? We work together editing World's footage. It's definitely worth seeing. Rescue Bots Academy. You'll learn how to get out of any mess. Whirl, that was very funny. Maybe we can cut the puppets, but you reminded us of the importance of fun at the Academy. I guess it's easy to forget the stuff that's right in front of your face sometimes. 
Like how every mission is a team effort. Thanks, guys. You want to help me finish the rest of the movie? Awesome! awesome. Oh, wow. Hey! <laughs> Welcome back, recruits. A snowy rescue is never easy. You've earned a break. Thank you, heat waves, sir. Those poor hikers, that blizzard came out of nowhere. Yeah, a total whiteout. Indeed, my visor vision was reduced to a mere 28%. <laughs> Good thing there was a super team of rescue bot recruits nearby, huh, guys? Yeah, that's right. Affirmative. True that. <laughs> Who said that? It's a dog. <laughs> He must have followed us back through the ground bridge. Are you lost, little fella? Aww. <laughs> we'll take care of you. Uh, you are aware of Academy Rule 78B, subsection C, no pets allowed, right? Sure, but there's got to be some exceptions. I mean, how can you say no to this adorable face? The little guy looks cold and hungry, too. But the penalty for breaking a rule is to sit out on multiple rescues. We'll only keep him here for a little while. Our teachers won't even have to know. Normally, I would point out the foolishness of such misguided logic. However, this canine is incredibly cute. Aw, he must want to go back to the snow to play. I've got a better idea. Go get it, Speedy! Speedy? No, we can't call him that. Why not? He is Speedy. Psst. Guys! I think we can come up with a better name. Guys! <clears throat> Blades! <clears throat> Blades! You feeling okay, Hoist? <clears throat> Blades! That cough does sound odd. Let me have a look. Well, I didn't know there was a cube game scheduled today. Oh, <laughs> Blades, got it. Ha ha ha, practice makes perfect, right? Oh, so just a small game. We thought we'd uh, train with a tiny cube to uh, improve our hand-eye coordination. Better keep practicing. <laughs> Look, he wants to go outside. Wow, you got the digging thing down. Good boy, Scoop. Wait, Scoop? What's wrong with Scoop? Indeed, he does excel at earth excavation. No way, Scoop isn't even a name. Actually, I know a couple of Scoops. Ah, Professor Boulder, who's right here. Hi. What are all these holes for? Uh, we thought it was time to plant some trees, sir. Good thinking, recruits. The courtyard could use more plant life. I'll put in a request. Has anyone considered the name Close Call? <laughs> Woohoo! Having four legs really pays off, huh, Bouncy? Yeah, no, we're not calling him Bouncy. I concur with Hotshot. We can come up with a better name. I think Schnoodles agrees. Ugh, Schnoodles? No, no way! Aw, I thought it was cute. I've got it. I've thought of the perfect name. We shall call him Dog. Why anything else? He is a dog, so there would be no confusion. It makes perfect sense. Ah, I believe he's trying to communicate with me. Yeah, to tell you dog is a horrible name. Woof! 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 That was the best circuit time yet, guys! Woof! Woof! Good to see you getting some extra training in during your downtime, recruits. That's dedication. Um, what was that? Hoist has been making odd noises all day, sir. Perhaps he is due for a checkup. Woof! Hmm. A new sound. I shall try to decode its meaning. It means he's sad, medics. But why? We've been having so much fun. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, he really likes our rescue alarm. Stay here, buddy. Schnoodles, come back! Excellent response time, recruit. Huh? What was that? It appeared to be a dog, sir. And there'd better be a good explanation for that when we get back. Now, we have a situation at the Griffin Rock Water Park. It's closed for the season, but a maintenance worker fell in while painting one of the slides. Your mission is to get him out. Rescue bot recruits, roll, roll to, to the, the rescue. rescue! Here's the plan. Save the human, then find our dog. Whoa, no way we can fit in that thing. Exactly. Our best option is to cut out the section that the worker is trapped in. Is there another way where we don't wreck the slide? I am afraid not. Hey, you found us. Good boy. Sorry, buddy. Not really the time to play tug of war. I don't think he wants to play. I think he wants to help. It looks like he wants you to drop your hook down the slide so you can pull the worker out. He said that? My translation was jelly bean flip-flop candle wick. Uh, I'd keep practicing. Huh? I think he's letting us know the human has the line. Yeah, I feel a tug. Oh, thanks. I was freezing in there. Oh, good boy. Excellent work, dog. Oh, bot's best friend. I think we all agree that Schnoodles should be an honorary rescue bot recruit. Now that I can translate. Don't call me Schnoodles. We're really sorry we kept Bouncy a secret from you, Professor Heatwave. Scoop just followed us home. He was lost. We had to keep him. And Speedy really helped on the rescue. Schnoodles is part of our team now, sir. Wait, is there one dog or four? Just the one, sir. Well, I can tell you've all bonded with this little guy, but what if he's already part of someone else's family? Did any of you think of checking his collar for contact information? <sighs> Sir, we know that the punishment for keeping a pet in the Academy is to sit out rescues, but would you allow us to go on one more mission first? To reunite this special dog with his owner? A worthy mission indeed. The ID tag has a Griffin Rock phone number. Let's call it. Hello, Murphy residence. <laughs> What's Heatwave doing with you? Heatwave? Oh, my husband Frank named him after his favorite rescue bot. Good choice. But why isn't he with Frank? They went hiking this morning. In fact, my husband should have been home by now. Wait, we did rescue everyone from that blizzard, right? <laughs> That sounds like a no. Come on, little heat wave. Show us where Mr. Murphy is. How clever. He's using his sense of smell to guide us. This must be Mr. Murphy's backpack. But where is he? Help. Go find him, boy. Rescue by recruits here to help, sir. Are you okay? I sprained my ankle, but I feel better now that you're here. I got all turned around in the blizzard. I lost my backpack, my phone, then I fell over this rock. Heatwave was with me for a bit, but he ran off. He came to find us. <laughs> yeah, to let us know we'd missed you when we rescued everyone else. Ah, good boy, Heatwave. Hang on, Mr. Murphy. I'll get you to a doctor. Bye, much cuter than the other heat wave. Good boy. Come back and visit soon. Woof. I can't believe we didn't realize Heat Wave the dog followed us back here because he needed our help. He was one smart pup. <sighs> I miss having a pet. You won't have to. Is that fish for us? But what about Academy Rule 78B, subsection? I've decided to make an exception, just this once. So what will we call her? Looks like a schnoodles to me. Hmm, 
schnoodles. Yeah. I'll buy that. Sure. Why not? Blub blub. I'm merely confirming with the fish that it likes its new name. And? Most definitely. I don't see what this has to do with emergency work. Rescue recruits have to be ready for anything. Whoa! What was that cat trying to do? Could have been worse. Have you ever heard of hairballs? Okay, recruits. As humans say, there's more than one way to save a cat. Any other ideas? It simply requires logical communication. Watch and learn. See here, cat. Stop all this and climb down. Now. Please. Maybe if I shoot my winch up and wrap it around the branch, Mr. Pettipaws can climb down. Give it a try. Grab your coat and get your hat. Go, team, go, let's save that cat. Yay, rescue bot recruit! Ah! Reset! Good thing Mr. Pettipaws wasn't real. Professor Blades, your screaming might be kind of distracting. That wasn't screaming. It was cheering. Humans do it when they play sports to inspire their team to be the best they can be. Yeah, we do that in Cube, too. Whoever's not playing yells at the team on the field to keep their head in the game. So it's yelling. It's cheering. Here, look. Cheerleaders don't just root for others. They use teamwork to do routines together, like making a pyramid. That's why I was screaming. I mean, yelling, I, I, cheering. You're a team, but sometimes you don't act like one. Sure we do, don't we? You could have saved that cat a lot faster if you'd worked together. Professor Blades, if we learned to do stuff like this, would it show you we really are a team? It couldn't hurt. Here, plenty of instructions and pictures to inspire you. Wow, this internet thing is really helpful. Yeah, I just... Don't read the comments. Anybody know what's going on? World just told us to meet here. Not sure why. I'll tell you why. It's time for our cheer practice. We need to work together and inspire each other. If we learn routines like Professor Blades showed us, that'll make us a real team. Hotshot, what kind of cheers did you do in Cube? You know, like, ha, or yeah. Ha, yeah. Uh-huh, I like it. <laughs> but I had something else in mind. Something like this. One, two, one, two, three. Rescue Bots Academy. Four, five, four, five, six. Hot Shot Roll Hoist Wedge Medics. Your turn. One, two, one, two, three. Rescue Bots Academy. Four, five, four, five, six. Toys, 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 Okay, <laughs> not bad. Uh, maybe just a little more excitement. Like it's the most fun thing in the world, which it is. One more time. One, two, one, two. Hold on. I, we're really spending our time on this? I mean, it's silly. I know what we need to prove this is serious. Hmm. 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 Pom-poms! In the videos Blades showed me, humans use these while they cheer to make it super fun and get everybody more excited! How do you turn them on? You don't! You just shake them! Like this. Hey, hey! These are kind of cool! And still silly. How do we go on rescue missions holding these? We can do the cheers before the rescue. And speaking of cheers, I think we're ready to try a routine. Follow me. It's easy. One step right and back and left, and two steps left, then up, then back. Now the other way. One step left and back and left, and two steps left. Hey, watch it. What do you think you're doing? What World told us to do. Well, do it somewhere else. Shh. I'm trying to concentrate. One step right, or left. One yeah, and two and, and out, out of my, my way. Some of us hey, are cheering here. Recruits! Okay, well, let's try something a little easier. I hope we can make a human pyramid. Now that's teamwork. 
only thing is, there's five of us, so we gotta do it a little different than the picture, but I'm sure we can make it work. Okay, now, hoist, same position on their backs. What? You didn't tell us that part. And now for the grand finale. Here I come! <gasps> Good first try. Oof. This time I won't jump so hard. Look, we're all... <laughs> Thanks and all that, but, um, I've got to go do that thing we're supposed to do. Yes, the thing with, uh, Heatwave. Boulder. Definitely one of them. Um, okay if I keep these? So, how was practice? Uh, we went from go team to no team. Don't give up. You'll get the hang of it. It's all about working together. After that, I'm not sure they even want to work together. If cheering's a sign of teamwork, maybe we really aren't a team after all. Emergency call, recruits! A flood in Griffin Rock! Most of the humans have been evacuated, but there are still a few left on Lincoln Street. Your job is to get them to safety while my team stops the flooding. Rescue bot recruits, roll out! Take anyone you find to that end of the walk. I'll help Heatwave and Boulder. Let's go find some humans to save. Attention citizens, evacuate immediately. Flood waters are approaching. Leave your belongings behind. Crustacea isn't a belonging, she's family. This way! Follow me! Maybe we should all go the same direction. Teamwork, remember? Recruits, the river is rising. If it breaks through our sandbags, it'll flood Lincoln Street. The river's that way. So we need to take the humans this way. But Blade said to go that way. But he pointed that way. Now I'm confused. They're here to rescue us? Whirl, which way's the river? Behind you and getting closer. Like I said, this way. Help! Help! Sarah! Uh, I, thought, I thought she was right behind me. Go with the others. I'll get her. Okay, um, little girl, your mom's waiting for you, so just come outside and I'll take you to her. I can't leave without buttons. We'll get you some buttons, or, you know, even a zipper. Buttons is my stuff funny. I can't find them. I'll get you a new bunny. Just come down. Hotshot, what's keeping you? The water's rising. Ugh, she wants her bunny. Here, I'll bring it to Sarah. You stay here where it's safe. Come on, recruits. We have a bunny to deliver. Two new bunnies. How about that? I want buttons. And we have him. Now will you come down? I'm scared. Whirl. Air rescue? Negatory. With that tree in the way, I can't get close enough. Hey, my winch will reach her. No! no! Don't you remember what happened with the cat? Wait, that's it? Yay, rescue bot recruits! Remember? You're gonna do that now? I think now is the perfect time. Hotshot, medics, hoist wedge world. Come on, team, let's save that girl! It's pyramid time! Woo! Yeah! Uh-huh! Now that's teamwork! I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay, you can look now! We've been talking, and you were right. We should have taken this more seriously, so... We've been practicing on our own. We wanted to see what you think. Mind counting us down? 
One, two, one, two, three. Rescue Bots Academy. Four, five, four, five, six. Hotshot World Hoist Wedge Medics. Go, go team, go. go! How'd we do? Perfect. Makes me proud to be on your team. I must say, Hoist, the Earth Museum is looking decidedly... What's the word? Empty? Immaculate. He means empty. You're right. We've been training so much, this place has kind of taken a back seat. The only thing Whirl and I have added lately is this wooden thing with a ball on the end. Whatever it is, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. No? Well, maybe this will cheer you up. We're going on a field trip! Go a away! Field trip? Here, Chuck, you figure it out. Hey, Professor, are we really going on a field trip? Yeah, Teach, where are we? Must be Cody. He uploaded it for his caller ID. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha. What? I'll call him back. Thank you. And as for where we're going, it's a surprise. Team, welcome to one of Earth's most magnificent natural wonders. It's so quiet. And while it looks peaceful, you should still be on guard. Hey, after all our training, we're ready for anything. Any time, any place. Ah! What was that? That was a geyser. This whole area is on top of an old supervolcano, making the water underground heat up. And no doubt making the area prone to earthquakes. It's unlikely, but still your job is to take temperature readings, map the underground vents, and measure seismic activity to make sure the area is safe for humans. We're on it, Professor. But remember, whatever you do, do not disturb the environment. Leave it exactly as you found it. Sure. But why, Professor? Because this place needs looking after world, so people can enjoy it for generations to come. <laughs> now, let's get started. These iron ore deposits are amazing. I had no idea Earthrock even contained metal. And check this out. There's an entire underground cave network that runs right below our feet. Oh! That was close. Wow, you should totally take a photograph of the crater. Kidding! I'll find a way down to the bottom and take a look around. Whoa! Boys! Found a way. Whoa, cool rock! An even cooler crater! This thing is huge! I wonder if it was the mouth of a volcano. That would explain why the metal in the rock has melted into these beautiful forms. Perfect for our Earth Museum. Slow your roll, Hoist. Remember what Boulder said about not disturbing anything? Maybe, but that, what's that, Wedge? My comms are crackling after that fall. Hey, guys, listen up. I found something. I hear you, Hotshot. I'll be right there. Wow. Whoa! Yeah, they're like strange burrowed holes in the rock. Hello! Remarkable. It's almost as though all the metal has been removed. And speaking of metal... Whoa, weird. Who takes a bite out of a road sign? Well, whoever it was, they were sure hungry. Recruits, we have a problem. Only one thing eats through metal like this. Scraplets. Scrap what? Ah! Scraplets. Dangerous critters that eat through metal and which should only exist on Cybertron. We can worry about how they got to Earth later. Right now, we need to find those scraplets and... <gasps> Run! Ah! Hey! Get away from me! That's what I call a bad sign. I don't get it. Why are they chasing us when there's all this metal in the rocks to eat? The scraplets eat all metal, but they prefer living metal. 
more specifically, us! I think they've given up. Great. Where's Boulder? There he is, not far from us. Uh-oh! Ah! This way! Oh, man! We're trapped! We just have to keep very quiet. Recruits! Come in! Recruits! Where are you? Ah! There you are! <laughs> ah! Quick! Into that cave! If I can seal the entrance, you'll be safe. But, sir, we can help. You can help by trusting me. Stand back! Well, sir, now what do we do? You hang tight while I call for Heat Wave. Boulder to heat wave. Do you read me? Boulder to heat wave. We should be out there helping. If anyone can stop those scraplets, it's Boulder and heat wave. I, I still don't see how those scraplets traveled through space and got all the way to Earth. Unless they came on a meteor. Wait, that crater hoist found. What if it was made when a huge meteor fell to Earth? Uh-oh. I just remembered I, I took a lump of metal from the crater. Huh? It's gone. And are those bite marks? <gasps> Into the tunnels. No! Heat wave, did you get my message? Where are you? In Griffin Rock, dealing with an ice cream truck that crashed through the barriers. But don't worry, we got your message about the scraplets, and I may have an idea. Hoist to boulder! Hoist to boulder! It's no use. We're too far under the rock. And there's more bad news. We are lost. No, oh, this is all my fault. If I'd listened to boulder, I never would have taken that chunk of metal. And that dangerous little critter wouldn't be in here with us. You're right when you say little critter hoist. Is it me or does that look smaller than the others? Like it's a baby. Maybe that's why the other scraplets were chasing us. Maybe they're its family. In that case, we have a new mission. Get the Scraplet back to his family and then get the entire swarm safely off planet. Agreed, but as stated, we're lost. My map shows only our position in the valley, but not where we are in the tunnels. Wait, my job was to map the underground cave systems, remember? So if we overlay the two... It shows our exact position in the tunnels! Go hoist! Look, there's another way out of the cave. Let's lead the way. Hey, little buddy. Here, boy. Over here. Ah! Hmm. Heat wave. Not a moment too soon. Those scraplets will be in that cave any minute. What's the plan? This way. Hey, metal munchers. Come and get us. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now! Gotcha! And are you sure they won't eat their way out? The whole back of this truck is a freezer for the ice cream. Lined with fiberglass, not metal. In that case, I'd better let the recruits out of that cave and tell them we got all the scraplets. Look out! Huh? All except one. Professor Boulder! You're okay! I am, Whirl. And so are the Scraplets. Look, he must know his buddies are inside. We think it's his family, actually. Aw, he's kind of cute, really. Isn't he? Uh, can we keep him? Right. It was just an idea. The good news is the Scraplets have been sent back into space in this specially designed pod. The pod's programmed to land on this moon, whose rock contains enough metal to last them a lifetime. They're going to be just fine, I promise.
And I promise that on the next field trip, the only souvenirs I'll bring back are photographs. I'm glad to hear it. Not disturbing the environment is the best way to protect the Earth for others to enjoy. And talking of protecting Earth, doesn't that sound like a... 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 a <laughs> what? We were so busy, I didn't have time for lunch. Cube Master Hotshot dominates the court with another amazing win! Go Hotshot! Go Hotshot! Go Hotshot! Hot shot. Whoa! Huh? Who's daydreaming? I'm not daydreaming. Are your audio sensors defective? Or perhaps you are in involuntary stasis? Chase just asked you what Rescue Bot Police Code 134 is. Oh! Um, a traffic violation? That's what you always guess. It's gotta be right sometime. Oh, oh! Code 134 is a diamond heist in progress with multiple suspects. What if there's only one suspect? Code 134.5. Let's turn to Rescue Bot Police Code 589. Cat up a tree. 689. Bird up a tree. 789. Bot up a tree. And the unusual but still possible 889. Tree up a tree. Isn't police class fun? If you know the rules, you'll always have the tools. I think Chase knows every rule ever. And it looks like he's planning on teaching them all today. Oh, we've been sitting here so long, my joints are rusting over. Code 202, missing hiker. Perhaps all these codes would be easier to learn in the field? Yeah, like a training mission. I'm not certain you are ready for that. Anything could happen. An earthquake, a typhoon, you forgetting what code signals a stray dog in a civic center. Code 474. <laughs> Who could forget that? And wouldn't you prefer to learn from the safety of this well-appointed room? Come on, Professor. Heat Wave lets us practice real rescues all the time. Perhaps I could set up a simple training exercise for you, as long as you follow the rules. Yeah! I am glad you share my enthusiasm for obedience. Today, you will practice a search and rescue scenario. Five hikers are stranded in the forest, and where are you going, Hotshot? To get the hikers? Not before we review the procedure for a code 202. Rule one is, yes, whirl. Examine the terrain, look for clues, talk to any witnesses? Correct, though that's actually rule one, two, and three. What about rule four? Hoist? Find hikers, bring back hikers? That is the ultimate goal of the mission. But rule four is, ensure you have correct supplies. Do you each have a compass? Yep. Huh? Compass what now? Perhaps I should accompany you on this exercise. That's okay. Part of learning is trying things ourselves. Very well. Are there any questions? Woo! Apparently not. Paying attention to detail is a great rule. Then we'll be able to find our way back. That's a big boulder. That's an oak tree. And that's my foot. Oops. Sorry, Wedge. This appears to be the mission spot. But where are the hikers? There! Those look more like barrels than hikers to me. They're pretend hikers. We just need to use our imaginations. Help! We're stuck in quicksand! My shoelace is caught in my belt buckle! We should start our rescue by moving in ever-widening concentric circles. Or we could just go get the barrels. Sorry, hikers. But in a real rescue, it won't be that simple. You never know what could happen. Avalanche, a tiger, an avalanche of tigers? That's why it's super important to practice following the rules like Chase said. Who's with me? Hmm. Aha! <laughs> why walk around a lake when you can walk over it? Who said anything about walking? This first responder is going to be the first responder. Unless a hovercraft beats you to it. Oh, yeah. Where did you last see these hikers? Tweet, tweet, huh? Sounds like you're hiding something. Mission accomplished. Nice! Got my hiker! Too easy. Where's Whirl? X marks the spot. What's Whirl doing now? Being illogical, why continue to follow procedure when we completed the mission by not following it? 
We can't leave without her. But we can have fun while we wait. May I be of assistance, Hotshot? It's a human game Cody taught me. Tag, you're it. I'm what? It. Run! What? Uh, why are we running? I don't know, but it sure is fun. Hey, wait for it. Hi, hiker friends. I'm here to rescue you. What's that, sir? The sky's getting dark. Yeah, I noticed that too. We might be in for a snowstorm. Rescue us, world! Never fear, I'll save you. Rescue Bot Reg 2, complete your mission. But Reg 3 is never leave a bot behind. I just have to find where they all are first. Ew, what is this stuff? Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Because I do not like it. Ah, snow. A common Earth phenomenon of water vapor frozen into ice crystals. That's a lot of words to say cold and annoying. Whoa! <gasps> hey, where'd he go? Hot shot! Whoa! Oh, that was unexpected. I hope World's okay out there in the snow stuff. Ugh. Can we have this talk when you're not sitting on my servos? Ugh. We should really get back. Excellent idea, Hoist. Which way is back? Ugh, I can't see any bot prints in this snow. Think, Whirl. What would Chase do? <gasps> Police rule two. Look for a clue. A broken branch. <gasps> and those bushes have been trampled by someone who doesn't look where they're going. Like, hot shot! Police rules. <laughs> what can't they do? Can't go forward. Which means it's time to go up. <sighs> okay, adding impossible to climb to the list of things I don't like about snow. Perhaps we can use our comms to signal for help. Come in, Chase. Whirl. Anybody? Perhaps not. Anyone remember what Chase said to do in this kind of emergency? Don't waste your one-a-day vehicle form on a hovercraft when being a jet would be so much more useful. Hey, there's a thought. Can you hover out of here? Did it work? That would be a no. My friends must be out here somewhere. Let's see, snow, more snow. Wow, there's a lot of snow. And there's hoist and some more snow and wait, hoist? And hotshot, wedge, medic! Whirl! You found us! You do realize now you're stuck down here too, right? You're forgetting police rule four. Supplies! My compass says the ground bridge portal is this way! That's great, Whirl. How do we go that way? We've tried everything. And by everything, I mean turning into a hovercraft. First, we need to clear a path. Well done. Thanks. I am on fire today. Don't suppose you have an idea how to get past that. Sure do. Rescue bot rule 51. Use what you got. Ta-da! Uh, are those still hikers? They're a sled. Kind of. Like humans ride on snow. Hop on! You want us to get on that? So much fun! Hey, I found something I like about snow! Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? I thought you liked going fast. I do, when I'm the one steering and using the brakes! You know, I may have forgotten to add those. It's okay! Rule 51, remember? Use what you got. Everybody, lean back. That'll slow us down. Not cool, guys. Not cool. Brace for impact. Welcome back, recruits. Chase, oh, are we glad to see you? Yes, the answer is yes. So glad. You almost broke Rescue Bot Police Code 59. Traffic violation? Correct, Hotshot. I knew it. I see you completed your mission. 
Congratulations, recruits. Technically, Whirl is the only one you should be congratulating. We might have saved the hikers, but she saved us. Aw, it's the police codes you guys should thank. Then I expect you'll want to get straight back to the briefing room to carry on your lesson. Warm classroom, no snow. Why are we still standing out here? Oh dear, they forgot the hikers. <laughs>